as seen in the short clip, an extremely important aspect of a fly rod is its elasticity, aka its ability to resist the bend before being permanently deformed or broken. This is done by using a composite of fiberglass. Within fly rods, you have different categories or actions. For example, for a slow action rod, you have extremely large resiliency, or the rod is able to store extremely large amounts of energy within itself when the cast is going on. Vice versa, for a fast action rod, you have the opposite, where the resiliency is low because it stores less energy. Each of these different types of fly rod actions has its benefits and negatives. As discussed in class, fiberglass has an extremely large elastic modulus. High modulus carbon slash graphite materials have allowed modern rod manufacturers to build lighter rods but maintain their stiffness. Ultimately, the higher the modulus, the more resistance to bending you get with less material. The fiberglass needed to create fly rods is created through sheet forming. You input the raw materials in a melting furnace. They are run over a liquid metal, usually liquid tin, and you get outputs of carbon fiber sheets. These sheets are then rolled using extremely advanced technology into the tubes that are become the fly rods. The carbon fire rod is then lined with thermoplastics. This is done to be able to withstand the large heat generation that a large fish will create when the line is running rapidly through the guides on the rod. 